But we cannot do like three hours. No, I'm three different videos. So it from now is that's it. It is it is a third video as of this moment though. But Yeah, you can record it but I don't think so if people don't wanna you know, because we gotta wrap it up. Yeah, I see a bunch more questions coming through. Um we so, can do the questions but we don't have to post it. Okay. We'll finish it with, with a couple more questions. But about about the, the dreaming then, um, a question came to my mind after after what you how you answered. I'm wondering I think I know the question, but I want to ask you so you can tell us all and just confirm what I'm thinking. Um, what's the sense in dreaming if we don't remember, but we know we dream? Oh my goodness. You will have uh, dreams that you uh, will remember. You can train yourself to remember. And you always dream that certain myths will completely flop. If you want to remember, then you train yourself to remember, but at the moment you get up in the morning, what are they dreamed of? And write it down. And train yourself over and over and over again in order for you to open the understanding and the uh, sequence to remember that. But even when you remember and start remembering the dreams, doesn't mean that some of them are not going to be uh, blocked from you. That is the difference. In order to remember the dream, start training yourself every day. Go in bed at night time and say, I'm remembering my dream. I know my dream. Uh, I want to become lucid. Read books about lucid dreaming and start training yourself. Even when you train yourself, my point is that even when you train yourself, certain dreams will be not allowed. Certain locations will not be allowed. And why is that? Because if you uh, have an agreement not to go somewhere or you didn't learn enough, certain frequencies will absolutely be not allowed for you to to go into that information is not allowed and also you cannot penetrate somebody else's consciousness without permission is against any law that's why sometimes the way don't ask me i cannot get information for his friend because she should be the one to ask me because i know the inform the question that he asked is much deeper with her so she should be the one to ask me because this is the only way they're going to give if they give particular information because even for her something may be not allowed to to know especially the frequencies that she may go into okay well um i'll ask you patty's question um because it's mm -hmm. I, it's probably a pretty good one that maybe a few people might be feeling patty asks if there's any advice you can give on how to overcome the fear of feeling not being capable or good enough to connect with the higher beings to open ourselves up more. Yes, well, I was training a quite a bit with that. Um, it's challenging and is in a daily basis because through our daily life, we have a lot of challenges that coming in. Remember when I was talking of you pulling out of the hologram and training yourself to be not to be biased and just to look at it and then put your image your emotion in your thought and increase it so you can shift to another outcome you have to do that in a daily basis and you have to control your emotion and the moment your emotion goes into doubting fear um, you are afraid of something that somebody said uh, pull yourself out and say that this is a hologram and you do that all the time train yourself over and over and over again until you crystallize it and eventually it's going to become simultaneously easy no matter what is penetrated is um, in front of you from holographic expression you're simply going to move move on or you're going to see it understand it and move on it's not going to bother you anymore that's what's going to happen. And every challenge, you're going to go through every challenge if it's a lesson without judging, without feeling sorry about yourself, uh, is going to be basically the test of the challenge. You have to go through, you have to pass it. But with what excellency you're going to pass it, that is all up to you, depending on the emotions and how you project yourself through every moment through that lesson. That is the challenge. When you drop your emotion, find the gratitude, find what you have. 
even if you lost your family for example you know what you are exactly where you need to be because that's the lessons that you're going through but then you start projecting positive and give a gratitude oh my god i'm not in the street thank you so much for everything what can i do to make my life better and now start taking action and look for the stuff that can make your life better with all the gratitude that is around you have a bed to sleep i am so grateful for that except to think i can't believe i'm not in just mega house how come this person has it and how come i don't and this is how you drop in and becomes the ego and you're going into this completely different level of understanding you know this is what you want to learn and is in a daily basis is very challenging i'm not going to lie to you but that's what we hear if you were not master of transformation you wouldn't be in this timeline of planet earth ascension you would not be because the planet uh, area needed that for the new beginning you have to resonate in that uh, frequency yep makes sense to everybody makes sense marina thank you so much for the good info um we only have one more question might as well knock it out real quick and then then we gotta go tired i've been doing this channeling happened today actually with all this information i was sitting for two and a half hours before I even talk to you guys. So it's been a lot for me today. Well, you got to go after this and have a good veggie shake. <laughs> you mean honey and water. That's what I'm on. Oh, that's right. I heard you talking about that. Well, John asks if he can trust the red robin, uh, you know, the, the, the red breast bird that shows him messages. I... What is that? I couldn't hear. I you. think some of some of us, I think, are are seeing birds and animals that uh, we believe give us messages. And John is seeing a a red robin um, that shows it, it gives him or shows him messages, and he's wondering if he can trust that bird. Oh, we discuss about you're wondering. Is the one now will give you probabilities of not having a positive outcome. You have to know that you can trust. You can wonder. You simply know. Because in order to be there, you put it in a structure. So learn the messages that is giving you. Because it's there of your projection. So if you doubt, that's what we talk about. You doubt right now. You're allowing your consciousness to have another probability that is not true. Which one you prefer? So you have to know that it's true and you follow through. Because those two realities of not being true and true simultaneously exist. More you give in the thought into, more you know and 100% you vibrate on, that's what you're going to perceive. Make yeah. sense? Yeah, thanks, Marina. Yeah, this is in waking state. I've been feeding, feeding the robins. And we're, the birds. we're all learning. What do you think was easy for me to go through everyday challenges? And uh, yeah, I had to learn. So all of us, all of us have to learn that. Pull out and know that you can, and know that this is it, that this is true. When you know it, know with happiness and joy, okay, that is there to help you through the process. Your permission slip could be that. Somebody else could be numbers. At the moment you look at certain numbers, stop. If that number, for example, you see is keep penetrating all the time, you turn around, you see 3-3. Three, three. You turn around, you see 3-3. Three, three. If you see that, stop right there and look around. What exactly is happening in this momentum when you see this number? So this is for everybody. Could be a number, could be a bird, could be a truck, could be anything. So make sure... Or the way I said, the garbage truck, it's showing me that something will happen maybe in a half an hour of that day that will be challenging for me. So learn through your uh, structures how this works because you end up putting it there to help you through the lessons mm -hmm. process. Nobody else did. Because my truck could be something, my gown that I dream myself could be something completely. If I have a dream, for example, of jewelry, diamonds and stuff oh my god is incredible day somebody did something or donated or present or something and i'm very very happy 
that's what jewelry but at the same time how come very beautiful green gown that i'm like uh, queen elizabeth or something is just a uh, sickness in my body so see you have to learn the patterns that are coming and for every single person is different but in order to do that you have to practice and you have to uh, basically tune in in the structures in order to constantly perceive it Remember, in order for us to see it, you have to tune it in on and on and on and on to crystallize it. Same thing with dreaming, the same things with signs and everything else. Stop paying attention. Why is that? Because it was always there. But your perspective was not expanded out of your local area, whatever your consciousness is vibrating. And the moment you raise that understanding, your prospect of visualizing and seeing everything could become to there's no limits that's what we're learning not to be limit we limitless we're the vessel so don't block it with doubt no it was it was only because i've been feeding the birds like sunflower love hearts and you know and my dog as well giving nature and giving back to nature but the robins have been coming really close, showing me to go and meditate on a particular chair or whatever in the garden. But yesterday, I found a dead sparrow, and I know the robins can peck and kill other birds. So I was getting two. I was getting positive and then a negative sort of message. So I was just in two minds. That was. Uh... Oh, now practice that. Now you saw that, but what did you see? Remember, we talk about holograms and expression. Uh, how come I'm in like this color? What's going on here? I'm like in black, black and white. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. No, so Marina, I think see. you just went back to the 50s for a little bit. That's all. We shifted the realities, guys. Um, so now, remember when you see something, for example, for your situation, you saw that, then why you end up putting immediately, you drop your frequency of immediately something is not right. Remember when we said pull out, because what you see is another holographic image imprint of picture in the parallel realities moment to moment right next to you. You don't have to give negative emotion. You will say, oh, give understanding that you end up shifting, but you could have shifted there because originally you had a doubt about it, didn't you? So now you're not surprised why this happened to you. The energies are increasing so rapidly and so fast right now that our thoughts and emotion are becoming very quickly into a fruition. So don't be surprised that things are happening so quickly. Don't have the doubt that this has a possibility not to be true. You had previously the doubt and that's what you perceived. So now you saw it. Pull out and start practicing without a doubt that you have everything you need and the guidance are there. Because you're going to pop out of this, you understand the stain is there, and now create a new one that all the information is going to come through the proper channels, the proper permission slips. It's simply another picture frame. Right. Challenge here much. that we need to practice. Oh, Gary, he, he says to me, Marina, you need a rest. Yeah, I think because he, he typed that right after you started going black and white. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah. I okay, did. I guess we should wrap it up. Are you you ready to go? Talk to you, but I literally get up at 8, downloaded this work for hours. Because the message when it comes in, there was more, and I've been channeling the entire day. And I had people try to help somebody. It's just a lot for me. I'm sorry. I'm literally falling asleep at this point. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to be back um, on February 4th. It's usually every other Saturday at this time or the time we started um, two hours ago. And it's usually just about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, but we felt like we had to run over today because it was a good good webinar, a lot of things to discuss. So thank you guys for being here. Marina, thank you so much for all your, your time and efforts and work. 
yeah so next time hopefully we're gonna have thank you so much for the donation somebody did something today uh, thank you so much yeah, we... we're grateful because guys you're helping us to get better in the webinars you see we're doing this for for each other so um I'm going to receive the other messages, whatever the messages, and we're going to pause them. Uh, I think, Ron, we should figure it out how to do it so I can control it. We'll do that. That's going to be easy. Um, and then we're going to go through all the messages that are coming so we can learn simultaneously at the same time. Okay? That's how we're going to do it. And this way, we'll, when we interact with each other, we're going to learn so many things. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. good? Thank you guys too for the uh, like Marina said a bit ago the the donations we had two more today so we had oh thank uh, you very much we had a twenty five dollar and a ten dollar so we're only forty dollars away from the new software and again it's been a really disappointing day with I've had another Facebook message five minutes ago that the guy said I'm tired I give up I cannot connect good luck. So he couldn't even join us because of, I don't know, something's wrong with uh, Skype for Business. So I just want to get off of this um, this platform <laughs> and get to our new platform so nobody gets rejected. Uh, yeah, guys, we're thinking of doing this uh, every year. So if, we, if you want to participate, just know that every year we're going to ask for $500 of donation. So maybe through the year, whatever you feel like, just donating five here, 10 there. So once we get the $500, we're gonna tell you, we're not doing this so Ron and I can get rich out of this. You know how I operate, you know how Ron, this is completely out of our hearts. So if you want this to continue, please distribute whatever you can here and there through the years. So by the end of the year, we have the platform, the money for the platform. We're going to remind you once in a while. Even if it's $5 next week, the $5, whatever we do, we're going to do this every year. So we, we pay for the platform. Yeah, so you guys look for, um, I, I feel like in the next, we should get $40 over the next, you know, before the next webinar comes. So if I, if I do and I get signed up on that new software at webinar, webinarjam.com, then um, look for the link on the uh, Facebook event website I have set up for uh, Marina and I there'll be a link underneath the details there's two tabs on our website I think some of you guys I just want to explain really quick because not everybody's uh, n has the full knowledge of Facebook but in the events there's two tabs it's the discussion tab and the other tabs the detail tabs in the detail tab you can see all the information you need to see to connect with us on the internet and things like that um, and donate. In the discussion tab you'll be able to see everything that we've ever posted in the year, almost a year that we've been doing this including our videos which uh, I'll finish by saying the three videos we have for today will be up in about the next two hours on Facebook and you'll find them on um, my feed uh, maybe Marina's feed. Marina's going to put them on YouTube probably tomorrow, within a couple days usually, and and I'll also have them on the event website for the uh, free enlightened webinar. Marina, your sound. Uh, I think you're muted. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh go. my God, I'm losing it already. I was reading your lips. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Thanks for all the help. And I love this community. We can actually, Ron, isn't it that all that you can post on, also on YouTube and we can have a lot bigger group? You know, anybody can tune, uh, get into this, uh, to our webinars. We can have a lot of people in the webinars. Yeah, it, with the new uh, webinar software? Yeah, it's going to be able to, um, you can go to YouTube and view it live on YouTube. You can view it live from our link. There's going to be a lot of things that we could do. We can have um, up to, I think it's 5,000 people online with us at one time, but only six will be able to talk at a time. But that's the way this works. We can only see six people at a time here on Skype anyway. So 
Um, but we'll we can really have... build something really good and we can all participate. And not only this, my suggestion to all of you, I see same people coming all the time, connect with each other, talk and help with each other. All of us have some abilities here, you know, so this is how we're going to build this new humanity by constantly helping with each other the way we do here. You know, I know sometimes we have to pay for stuff and we have to ask for different things from each other, but that's because we're still going through the monetary system. What are we going to do? In order for us sometimes to perceive something, we got to help each other in this way. If somebody completely in this group really, really, for example, needs uh, something to eat or whatever, just put it out there and say everybody can have $5 to donate to that person. We should start helping each other. Yeah, nobody should have to be struggling too much or starving, although I think a lot of us are struggling, but... You know, yes, I do, I understand, I do have sessions and I do have people donate, but that's in my private time. But at the same time, we can create a group that everybody's helping each other with different situations. You know, so connect with each other through this stuff and see what you can distribute to each other and help each other. Knowledge, uh, anything could be, you don't have clothes. Do you have clothes? Yes, I have. Do you want me to send it to you? It could be in anything. The, the sky is the limit here. Don't block yourself from this uh, uh, stuff. That's how you help each other. Well, we're definitely stronger together as a group and I'm I'm going to keep going and going as I can and, and build build our group to 5,000 people and then after that we'll, we'll jump to the next 5,000. <laughs> go somewhere for example if you need to go to a location everybody knows each other for so long connect and say hey if you have to stay two days somewhere you can come and stay with me until you move somewhere you know things like that you never know how things can go so my suggestion is just you know connect with each other and start interacting. Yes. Yeah. Liz right? Liz yeah. is here. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. I love you. I love everybody. Life is good. <laughs> okay, you guys. I guess we'll wrap okay. it up. And guys. we'll see everybody. I hope to see you in two weeks on Saturday. And uh, um, tell a friend about us. Bring a friend if, if you know that they are enlightening. Yeah. If you want to bring a friend, bring a friend. We, we, we're stronger when we are, you know, together.